Hi, welcome to my talk, AI is the perfect heavy metal composer. My name is Dr. Tristan Behrens. I work as an AI expert. I'm a hands-on advisor for deep neural networks. I did my PhD in artificial intelligence in 2012, and I'm also an AI musician. So sometimes if the mood is right, I would say that I am a musician trapped inside a body of a computer scientist. If you find what I'm doing interesting, please feel free to reach out. You can contact me on LinkedIn. You will also find me on YouTube and on Instagram. I would be happy to say hello. So what you see here, a word cloud, this is a representation a very high level representation of a data set. So at the beginning of this year, and later I'm gonna tell a little bit more about that, I gathered a lot of heavy metal music as MIDI files. So I scraped the internet and I found a lot of songs in the heavy metal genre. What you see here is that I also went through the motions assigning subgenre labels to the MIDI files that I got. You see here, a big word means it's very presented um, small word is means I don't have that many samples. So you see that I have samples from fresh metal, heavy metal, black metal, death metal, power metal, doom metal, also speed metal, sludge metal, hardcore, post-hardcore, and so on and so forth. So quite a lot of material. And if I remember the numbers right, I have 7,000 heavy metal songs. So it's a good start. And as always, when you do deep learning, you need a lot of data. And I think 7,000 samples of heavy metal music are already quite a lot. But you might wonder, assuming that you have a lot of music, for example, as MIDI files, which is a symbolic representation of songs. So it's not the WAV file, it's not an MP3, it's symbolic, you have notes and where they are, and you also have tracks. The question would be like how to do deep learning with that. Deep learning, usually at the beginning, you do some encoding. And this is just an example. So what you see here on top is music. Well, if you are talented and if you are into music, you might even hear what you see there. It's a so-called piano roll. And what you can see here by the colors is one, two, three, four, four different voices. It's the soprano, the alto, um, the bass, and the tenor. So these are four voices in church music. So this is singing music. And this is a piece of a chorale composed quite a couple of years ago by Johann Sebastian Bach. So this is like the hello world. And the main idea of this slide is me telling you that if you have music, which is multidimensional, so you have pitch, you have time, and you also have multiple voices at the same time, polyphony, what you have to do is you have to map it to a sequence of discrete tokens, as you can see here on the bottom. So these are discrete tokens, and this is just one voice of this chorale that you can see here, the red one. And you see, if you look closely, they are not on events, they are also not off events and time delta. So what this is, is a representation of a music that we see on top there as a sequence of tokens. So the whole parallelism is dealt with. We have multiple voices at the same time. We also have multiple notes sometimes at the same time. Well, in this case, usually. And this is a straightforward implementation, straightforward encoding. Well, and for my heavy metal music, well, assuming that I have this encoding, I just took all the files that I have and I encoded them in that way. So every file, every MIDI file ended up as a collection of text files and those text files are actually human readable. So you can have a look and see, well, this is some kind of music. And if you have text files, well, you can do language processing, natural language processing in a shape and form of large language models for language generation. So you think about, and it's easy to do so, you think about natural language processing, for example, in the shape and form of transformers. Um, attention is all you need, a paper that hit in 2017 and definitely changed the world. And if you look closely, maybe you see, saw this picture before, this is GPT. GPT is a family of large language models designed and trained by OpenAI, which are for language generation. And language generation is so easy if you think about the idea and also so effective. The only thing that is challenging here is, well, usually those neural networks are big and they require a lot of data, but how they are like, how they are designed, the architecture is something that you can understand over weekend. And what GPT does, very straightforward, it takes a couple of words in a sequence, so maybe a beginning of a sentence, and it just predicts the next word. So a couple of words in, next word out. 
and you think about it and i think it's very easy for you to understand if you do it multiple times you can generate a lot of text with that same for example for programming maybe you've heard about copilot which was made available well this year it's the same thing not natural language but programming language so you have a deep neural network based on gpt that just predicts the next token in programming very helpful well and in my scenario you've already seen the encoding the encoding is a text file so i train gpt2 on those text files and then i end up with a deep neural network that is quite good at generating music well and how did i do that well, usually I would sit down and implement all those deep neural networks from, from scratch. But this time I decided, no, let's take a solution off the shelf, just use it, and maybe I will be very happy with that. So what I did is I went to Hugging Face. Hugging Face, great company. I like it a lot. And they have a couple of modules available. So pip install transformers is the thing you would like to do. And this gives you a lot of functionality, especially functionality for training large language models, including the GPT family. So it turned out that coming up with an implementation for deep neural network for language generation, not necessary. I just installed Hugging Face Transformers and then I took all the text files that I had and threw them um, into that implementation. It took four days of training on four GPUs until while well, the neural network converged and was while well, generating convincing pieces of heavy metal music. Speaking of which, what you see here, music composed with AI, this is a sequence of one to three albums that I have composed this year using the neural network that I have just mentioned. The project is called Hexagon Machine. The name Hexagon Machine comes from a tiny little discussion that I had with a deep neural network. Also, the names of those albums, Robot Uprising, Digital Dawn, A New Order, they all came from me discussing with an AI what would be a perfect name. On the left side, Robot Uprising is the first album. It took me 50 days to compose and 50 days from the idea well, I would like to create an album using AI to putting it on Spotify. And the most time in those 50 days was spent on actually producing the music. So doing the composition with the AI, getting the data set, training the deep neural network, getting everything up and running in the shape and form of a tool. Those were at most two weeks of work where, well, the most time I spent encoding the data, the deep learning part, I think it was like one or two days. And then, well, taking pieces of music that come from the AI, arranging them, changing the structure, adding different instruments, telling a story with the pieces that AI have provided, 50 days. The second album in the middle, Digital Dawn, just took me, I would say, yeah, two weeks, 14 days, full time working on that because there everything was up and running. No more deep learning required. I just took the same neural network that I've already trained and got wild. And finally, New Order has just been released on 3rd of December this month. Um, this took me a little bit longer because I was working on different projects by then. So I did it almost entirely on, on some weekends. It's quite a lot of fun. And what I saw there is, well, for all these three albums, it was the same neural network. And I mean, really the same neural network that I trained around Easter and I used it for those, those three albums. So if you like, please feel free. All this music is on streaming platforms, including Spotify, but not limited to. Um, be, be so kind and have a listen. And of course, don't hesitate to send me a line. Tell me what you think. If you'd like to get more inspiration, reach out. Thank you very much.